Hello guys, sorry for the delay. We are waiting on um, Miss Julie to join us. She was having technical difficulties. She was having technical difficulties with her computer and uh, we'll be logging on here in just a few minutes. Um, but I'm Callie with Kelly's Closet and with me we have Jenny from the Cloth Diaper Revival blog. And today we are going to talk about Rumparoo's diapers and uh, all their awesome accessories. So welcome and thanks for joining the chat. And uh, Jenny, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I have uh, my daughter's home with me again for day number gazillion and eight. I don't know. Um, six. So we're... Uh, Excuse any little redheads that pop into my mirror or ask me <laughs> into my video or ask me questions. Yes, you may have that. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Julie just joined us. Hello, darling. Hi there. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. I just shut everything completely down. That's what I get for not rebooting my computer for days. I never reboot my computer. Never. Uh, see, I close mine down every night. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I need to be really good about it uh, because, of especially right now, the storms and stuff that we get, um, we get power surges, and especially here at the warehouse. So I need to be really good about shutting my computer down. I'm not. Well, you have Jenny. Do you hear a little um, static? No, I'm good. Okay. Um, if we hear static, Julie, I don't know if you have headphones, but you may need headphones. Okay. If not, we'll work through it. Gotcha. Um, I don't have. Um, I don't think that I have headphones here. But I don't have static. Okay. It could just be me. <laughs> My little redhead. So anyways, um, we just went live a minute ago and introduced um, you without you being here, so welcome. <laughs> Julie is the owner and creator of Rumparoo's Diapers and Kanga Care. And uh, it looks like we actually have quite a few questions in our Q&A session already. So I'm just going to go ahead. I know um, it sounds like you're, looks like you're changing a baby over there. Hello, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What did uh, what did you change her into? We should all know that, right? Well, um, let's see. We've got peacock. Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite color, of course. <laughs> She's not quite sure what all that is. <gasps> and this is your youngest. Uh, for those who are joining us who may not know, why don't you give us a little history about Rumparoos and how you got started? Um, well, we got started with Autumn, who just turned eight, and uh, Autumn's number two. This is Lily. Lily's number five. So we're busy. Um, I started making the Rumparoos for Autumn when we put her in disposable diapers after she was born and immediately had... Um, reactions to the chemicals that were in the diapers and she just couldn't tolerate them at any level and so we started experimenting with different types of um, well disposable diapers first and it didn't matter if they were generic or really expensive um, so then we, we switched to cloth and I was having a hard time not finding a system that could contain all the poop and um, keep us happy while cloth diapering so I just started making them for her and then it just, you know, we had customers that wanted to start buying them. And actually, um, when Kelly owned Kelly's Closet, Kelly was one of the first retailers that had contacted me and said, I've seen your diapers, and, um, diaper swappers, and I have customers that have a few now, and I want to carry them in my store. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> it takes me to know hours. what year that was or how long What's that? Do you remember when that was? Um, yeah, that was in 2007. Okay. Cool. <laughs> are you are you getting any kind of like static? My connection's 
kind of got a little wishy-washy here in the last minute. Yeah, you're you're coming in and out, but I, you're catching up. Like we can hear you. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, so you were uh, telling us a little bit about your diapers, and you started sewing them at home, correct? I did. Um, I was selling them at home for. I mean, even after we had some local manufacturing, uh, we were. I was still about a year behind on um, doing custom orders. So we picked up manufacturing in 2008 and I continued to make diapers through the end of 2009 just because I had so many custom orders that had come in. Um, by the time I stopped making diapers I had made just over 2,000 rump roos and little joeys. So, um, and then at that point oh, we wow. were, yeah, it was, when I think back on it people are like, oh do you miss it? And I'm like, I made so many diapers, I don't miss it. I miss making <laughs> other things, but I don't miss making diapers anymore. So, but it's it's fun. We actually, I have gotten back into making diapers because we're um, experimenting with a few new designs and some new product coming, so that's exciting. Cool. Yeah. Very fun. And uh, I know we had some a question earlier from Michelle. She wanted to know where rump brews were made. So we kind of answered that already. You did start making the brand at home, and now you have manufacturing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your manufacturing? Um, yeah. So right now we are manufactured in China for the most part. Um, it's a really great company. It's a company that um, is kind of part of our family. Um, we know them through contacts that my mom had from college. So we're manufactured in China and it's a European company. Um, it's based out of Denmark. Um, the owners live in Denmark so when we go and do our show, our trade show in Germany, we usually go up there and stay with them for a little while and visit them and they show us around. Um, so the whole company is operated off of European um, standards of living which makes it nice because the factory, um, they're Chinese workers so they get all the Chinese holidays but they also get all the European holidays and they're paid off of European wages um, which makes a big difference um, in the quality of the factory and the quality of um, the, the product that we get from the workers and everybody's, you know, they don't have practically any turnover. They've had almost the same staff for about 14 years, so definitely says something about you know the, how happy that you know all their employees are, and that makes us feel good. Um, they're an extremely environmentally conscious manufacturer. Uh, they go above and beyond um, even what their government kicks back to them in terms of um, protecting the environment. The factory is solar powered, um, and they just they they're constantly implementing. Um, just whatever they can within the factory to reduce their carbon footprint and also give back to the community that they're in since they are manufacturing you know in a city um, you know, they try to do as much as they can for, for that area yeah good, good. <laughs> I know I know that's a big concern for a lot of people when they're purchasing an item so um, yeah, it's always good to have a little background. <laughs> um, I know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of a delay between Julie and I, so we'll try to. Uh, Answer questions here. You know what's funny? Um, there is no delay over here. You're not familiar. I don't have any delay with Jenny either. <laughs> so it'll be an entertaining video. It's okay. It's Google Plus. It's what happens. <laughs> Well, and I don't have any experience with Google Plus. Um, I like literally last week just started um, kind of poking around and experimenting with it and trying to figure out like um, 
who's on Google Plus? Do we need to use Google Plus? And you know, so there's always something new that's wrong with it every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, I'm totally experimenting. Maybe with I'm the only one that has delays. I don't know. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> so, um, Julie, can you tell us a little bit about um, some of the products? I know um, my daughter wore the G2, the one size diaper, and you guys also make a. Little Joey, which is the teeny, teeny, tiny little newborn diapers, which are the cutest little newborn diapers on earth. <laughs> and they, they truly will fit the teeniest, tiniest baby. They're actually made for uh, preemie size. So they'll fit the little itty bitty ones. And then uh, the one size diaper will fit all the way up through potty training. So just side by side. That's the difference between them at their biggest size there. Yeah, so um, the Rumbaroos were, you know, the very first diaper that I started making, and um, then when Sebastian was born, um, that's when we came out with the little Joey. I had the pattern already, and I had developed it for a mom who actually needed diapers for a preemie. Um, she had, they had some special circumstances, and they had to deliver the baby at 36 weeks, and so she knew she wanted a cloth diaper. She was you know, upset because she didn't feel like she was going to be able to cloth diaper from the very beginning. And so I developed the pattern for her and she loved it and so then I made a bunch for myself um, so that I had them when Sebastian was born and it wasn't ever a product that we really planned on taking to market just because of how tiny they were and we figured they'd be pretty specialized but after using them with Sebastian who was um, nine pounds when he was born and he wore them up to about eight weeks and he started he hadn't outgrown the size of them he was outgrown the absorbency but I knew that they were going to be a pretty good newborn diaper because he was really good sized and he wore them for almost two months so um, I passed mine off to friends and had them test them and they ended up getting sold on diaper swappers and who knows where all they are but um, Everybody wanted them. The stores um, immediately started requesting them, and so they kind of happened by accident. Um, it was just something I made that um, we didn't really plan on producing that everybody wanted, and now it's, um, I mean, they're one of our top sellers, so everybody likes those. And we've got the diaper covers um, that mimic the sizing, so we've got the one size cover mimics the sizing of the Rumperoos, and then we've got the newborn cover mimics the sizing of the little joeys to a point the covers will um, go to a much higher weight than the little joeys kind of top out between 10 and 12 pounds and the covers will go up to about 15 I think some customers have said even like 17 pounds so um, then there's all the accessories wet bags pail liners and we've got the organic line which is um, eco posh and eco posh is made out of recycled uh, water bottles, organic cotton and bamboo, and those the diapers in the Eco Posh line are fitted. So they still need a waterproof cover to go over them. You can use the traditional uh, Rumperoos cover, or the Eco Posh line has a wool cover. And then also in the Eco Posh line are the training pants, which are really popular as well. And that's kind of that's kind of it. <laughs> Does the newborn cover, does it snap down like the little Joey's do? No, it doesn't. Um, actually, do I have... Does it look just like the regular cover, just smaller? It does. Um, so this is the newborn cover, the Aplex one. Um, and then this is the one size cover. Here, let's see. <laughs> do you have that? I'm going to sit here for a minute. Uh, okay, so, oh no, that was not a good idea. Okay, so you can kind of see the difference in the sizing there between the one size and the newborn. The newborn doesn't have the snap down in the center, but it's got elastic that kind of pulls it down a little bit, and that elastic also kind of keeps, the elastic keeps the, um, Daddy to the rescue. <laughs> Here we go. 
<laughs> we'll do a baby handoff. Um, so the elastic kind of keeps um, the pre-fold or the fitted tucked into the cover so it doesn't end up like peeking out. But on the newborn, it also does help dip it down a little bit so that it can stay below that cord. And then it has three sizes that it can adjust to on the newborn. So you've got two snap down sizes, and then you've got um, just the fully unsnapped. I keep looking at you guys down here. I'm like, oh, I can't put there. <laughs> Feeling a little crazy. So yeah, um, and then the difference with the one size is it's got four different sizes on it. It's got the three snap down, and then it's got the fully unsnapped. So together, they go from about four pounds to about four pounds. I'm trying not to talk because all I hear is that. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, you're all broken up, Kelly. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> She's... <laughs> Is she? <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> we can't hear you at all. Me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my daughter just spilled something all over me. It's okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I just didn't cut on TV because or on video because she just spilled stuff all over me. It's okay. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> okay, well, I'll ask a question. Um, Lynette wants to know about the um, the Aplex diapers. She wants to know if they're coming back to Kelly's closet because we don't have them anymore, or if they're discontinued. She says that your Velcro was one of her favorites. Well, so we have decided to discontinue the Velcro in the Rumpers. Um, we're going to hang on to it for right now in the covers. And um, it's the Aplex. So the Aplex has um, kind of a special story. Um, Aplex is the brand name of Hook and Loop, just like Velcro is the brand name of Hook and Loop. And Aplex is out of France. When we first came onto the market, um, Aplex had a really bad name, and um, there was just there was other diapers on the market that were using Velcro, and what happened with that certain type was that the hook starts relaxing, um, you know, after it goes through multiple um, times through the dryer, and also the loop starts getting really fuzzy just from the constant like opening and closing, um, and that can happen with a lesser quality of any type of hook and loop um, material. So knowing this, um, I actually we went directly to Aplex in France and we worked for about 18 months with them to really work on um, the specs of our Aplex. We worked with them knowing that it has to go through the dryer um, you know 300 plus times. Um, we worked with them knowing you know, it has to be closed, it can't fray, it can't fuzz. And so we came up with the Aplex that we're using right now and it's a really good Aplex. Um, you'll find that it doesn't ever fuzz up and it doesn't ever lose its grip. The only thing that we can't control is, you know, if you don't close it in the dryer, then you know you get the little fuzzies. But you can clean those out pretty easily. So aside from that, um, you know, it is really one of the best Aplex um, material, Aplex you know, brands in the industry. But Aplex still holds a really bad stigma of wearing out really quickly, and so the Aplex diapers just don't sell very well. We've got some people who are die hard for them and love them, and they're really sad that we've discontinued them. But in making the decision to discontinue the Aplex diaper, um, that gives us room to bring on a brand new product. So we're hoping that even though we're discontinuing Aplex and some people are sad, that they're going to be really excited that we're going to have a brand new product. So I can't tell you any more about the new product. <laughs> That's Except not fair. That. <laughs> I know. So. But yeah, um, we still have the Aplex on the covers. Um, the covers are a little bit, you know, different. They don't seem to be as um, sell specifically for snaps or Aplex. They kind of just all fly off the shelves no matter what. So, so that's Allie, where we're are you back. 
She's still I'm delayed. Back. There's still echo. So. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy listening to Julian talking to you. <laughs> okay, so you have something new this coming. Is, that this, we... is, this is how Google Plus normally goes. There's usually, there's, it's <laughs> rare that there's one week. And she's gone. <laughs> 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 okay, so we'll just move on and Callie can listen. <laughs> um, so you have something new coming and you won't tell us anything. Yeah. But Nicole wants to know. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole wants to know if we're going to get new prints anytime soon. Maybe. Oh, what? What <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, so yes, we have new prints coming. Julie, what's behind you? Oh. Plurals. <laughs> <laughs> I can't show you those. <laughs> um, okay, so we do have new prints coming. Um, we try to release them, you know, around ABC every year because our retailers just get really excited and, you know, run to the booth to see what's new. Um, I won't tell you how many, because it's a surprise. <laughs> you guys are peeking. Well, there's your preview. It looks really cute, whatever it is. <laughs> there's your sneak peek for two of them. I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so we do. We have um, we've got a couple new products actually, and then we've got new prints, and those will be out, those will start coming out this fall. <laughs> I don't know how to do this without Callie. She has to talk. <laughs> she, that's so funny. I love the fact that she looks off screen and then she just smiles. <laughs> <laughs> she has two monitors over there, so she's looking at something. Is that what it is? Yeah. She's got her troubleshooting face on. <laughs> and she's quiet. <laughs> I was I was trying to turn the other video on. here because this is really, really funny. <laughs> it's just like I'm not You guys keep talking. Uh, Julie, if you can hear me. I can kind of hear you. I know one of the questions that a lot of people ask is about the fit and how they fit on the you can't hear me. I'm reading your lips now, but did you say... Okay, so, so she's asking about the fit. So a lot of people in our support group complain that, oh, my baby's too chunky, or my baby, I can't get a good fit. Um, and so, we do have one fan that we, like, we point to. My computer is dying. One fan that you that you can point to. Yeah, so we point to her and we're like, prove to prove to everybody that these diapers fit your baby. She's a really chunky baby and she loves your diapers. So we she shows off her pictures all the time, but people do complain all the time. Oh, they don't fit my baby right. Um. So I mean, and we get that too. We get um, customers who will email in and they'll say, you know, my baby is six months and he's outgrowing the rumparoos and these are supposed to fit until, you know, he's ready to potty train. And it's really just a fit issue. Um, and we, you know, our customer service works with people all the time. The We have pictures, you know, that we'll show also, which are all of my kids, <laughs> because Quentin was um, 32 pounds, like, by the time he was six months, by the time he wow. was low age. And he was still on the medium setting. I mean, his thighs were huge. I mean, he was just <laughs> big all over. And so um, it really is just um, the matter of getting a good fit because they'll fit really chubby babies. Uh, they'll fit, you know, really scrawny babies and everybody in between. So if anybody's having a problem getting a good fit, I definitely would recommend 
um, either I'm sure you guys you know are really good at troubleshooting that, and they can also contact our customer service. Um, Kim uh, heads up our customer service, and she has all kinds of like videos, um, and you know she can work with people over the phone if they have Skype, you know, and they want to get on Skype and kind of do a diaper change for her. There's so many times where you know as they're doing the change, she can pinpoint it. She can be like, okay, here's what you do, and one of the really big things is making sure, my baby's gone now, <laughs> making sure that the diaper is positioned under their back and the back elastic is even with like where their belly button is. So if you were to draw a you know, line around to their back. And then as you're pulling the diaper up and through the legs, making sure you're stretching it out because sometimes that insert, um, you know, if they're laying on that diaper, that insert can stop the diaper from wanting to stretch forward. So just making sure that that insert, you know, is stretching forward with the diaper and then squishing it together so it's coming up through their legs and the elastic is um, kind of following where the underwear lines would fit. You know, the baby just had on a little pair of underwear. Um, the biggest fit mistake we'll end up seeing when customers are complaining that the diapers aren't fitting is that when they're pulling that diaper up between the legs, it's fully spread out, so it's really wide, and it's actually not, um, the elastic isn't fitting on the elastic lines in the leg. It's actually coming across the thighs, and that can pull the front of the diaper down really low, or the back of the diaper, depending on kind of where that, that fit's being compromised at. So that's really hard to kind of visualize when somebody's just, like, saying it, but, um, yeah, if anybody has problems with their fit, I definitely would recommend just either dropping us a line or you guys. You have really good elastic, so I would definitely suggest pulling the elastic out. I mean, it'll go back. So yeah. stretching that diaper all the way out, definitely. Absolutely. Um, you know, and that's the whole purpose of it, you know, because you want to create that diaper company. I don't have any diapers around me. I've got dirty diapers from <laughs> Lily. <laughs> yeah, you want to... Um, one thing I do is like wrap it around my wrist. I can kind of do it with these. I mean, the covers are different; they have different elastic. But um, you know, you want to make sure that you know you've got that. Where's my camera? You know that you've got that good fit. You know, around the leg, because a lot of times um, um, parents are too they're um, cautious about getting it too tight because they don't want it. You know, to like marks or lines or whatnot, but if you kind of like lift up the baby's legs, you'll notice that it'll gap and it'll pull away from them, you know, by like a half inch. And that's when you know you've either got it on the wrong size, you've got it set too big, or um, you, you know, you don't have it like up at their waist. Um, well, there's, there's a few different things, and sometimes when people are um, having leaks, it's the same thing. Uh, the biggest reason for leaks is absorbency, either not enough absorbency, or fit the diapers just not on me. So all of those things kind of go hand in hand. So we have some guesses about your new products. Um, Michelle wants to know if maybe there's baby leggings. And Jill says, can you give a category whether it's a diaper or not a diaper? She they want hints. They're really curious. They want hints. Okay, so um, We've got, okay, so we've got an accessory coming, and we've got two diapers coming, and then print. Very exciting. <laughs> but that's all. And you're in the fall, right? Yeah, this fall. Um, they probably won't all come out at the same time, but this fall is when we will start seeing new stuff. And then um, we have something super exciting happening next spring. Um, and all of the new products should be out by then. So, <laughs> poor Callie. <laughs> I sent Callie a text message, and she said she's on a thirty-second delay on her computer. <laughs> she sent me a message on Facebook and says that she's having trouble typing on her computer. Oh no, Jenny, I'm kind of losing you too now. Oh no. 
<laughs> you sound like you just entered the matrix. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? Spring nine months. Oh man. <laughs> You're back. I see you now. Nope, we are on. Uh oh. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You're You can't you're, see me. You kinda sound like a talking banjo. <laughs> Callie, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> Um, let's see here. <laughs> I'm crying. Just put on mute. Can you hear me? Jenny, I can kind of see you. I can your your little picture is back. We'll have to do this again when Julie can actually hear us. So I can hear her. I don't know what Callie's doing. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> Julie, can you hear me? Oh man. Julie can't hear me. Can anybody else can somebody comment if you can hear me? <laughs> You can hear. <laughs> okay, so if you can hear me, um, we lost Julie. We can barely hear Callie. Okay. This can is say yeah. Maybe something be recorded. <laughs> so <Not> sorry. <laughs> sorry for the technical difficulties. We had major issues okay. today, and we'll see you later. Okay, I had to re-sign in. <laughs> it's not really much better. <laughs> okay. 